don't know if it's the drink or the fact I'm slightly aroused. I want to try something. I want to try a complicated setup for the next act. Are you up for it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's well, going to require audience participation from this guy, this guy, these twins, and this lady, yeah? So what I'm going to do, uh, and I, this may not work, this may not work, I'm going to ask them to repeat a saying, and then you all clap, and ask the same person to repeat the same thing, and the same thing, and the same thing, and when it gets the last person, you all applaud, and I'll bring the next actor, right? It will be a setup for the act, so you have to check it out. So what I'm going to say to you, and I want you to repeat in, a, in your best possible accent, best possible pretend accent, right? Is say, oh oh dingo it, my baby, right? <laughs> and then we'll applaud to the next person. Are you ready? Go. Uh oh, dingo ate my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh oh, dingo ate my baby. <laughs> uh oh, dingo ate my baby. <laughs> uh oh, dingo ate my baby. <laughs> uh oh, dingo ate my baby. Yeah! some bits of new material along tonight, but my suppliers um, diddled me. When I got there, it was all stitched up. So, I thought I'd bring this along instead. I'll just turn my uh, little buzzer on because uh, Frank might fall asleep. Anyone know what this is? Clarinet. Clarinet. Who said that? Who said clarinet? Are you a player? Hey. You like to play? Yeah, I thought I'd do my bit for the... Um, economic sort of cuts and misery and shit we're all going through. I thought I'd do a bit of music tonight instead. So I brought this along. It's actually my second clarinet, second hand one, spare one. And um, I'm prepared to let it go for 80 notes. <laughs> I was going to bring it along all made up um, and then take it apart bit by bit. But philosophically, I'm no, um, I'm no deconstructionist, so <laughs> I thought what we do is, because it's Wednesday and we're in a pub and drinking, um, I'll do a little bit of this, and you can all go home half pissed, but with an increased knowledge of musical engineering. <laughs> um, now the clarinet comes in bits. I don't know why. Uh, most instruments don't. I'm often sitting on the tube, and I'm opposite a rather tall, lanky, sort of fey young creature with a massive cello between her legs, and I think she's lucky. <laughs> I've got to put mine together. So we'll just go through it, starting at the bottom. Um, anyone know what this is? Not the clarinetist, because that'd be cheeky. Yeah. Oh. It's a bell end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bell end. <laughs> or horn. Did you say horn? Just as good. Now, before you can play, uh, before you can play successful music, however, you need to get to the top. And to get to the top, there are one of these, and there's one of these. They're more or less called the shafts, around which you sensitively but firmly clasp your fingers. <laughs> and finally, you arrive at the, at the mouthpiece. Yeah. Now you'd think that'd be the end of it, but it's not. Because on that mouthpiece, you have to put a reed. And you'd think that would be the end of it. But it's not. <laughs> that reed has to be wetted with your tongue until it's quite moist. And you'd think that would be the end of it. <laughs> it's not. That reed must protrude just a little bit into the mouth. And you'd think that would be the end of it. <laughs> but it's not. Because in order to make successful music, you have to tongue each note. Now my problem is, my first ever clarinet lesson was with a rather tall, basically drop-dead gorgeous woman, nothing like herself now. Um, and by the time she'd finished talking about bell ends, shafts, sensitive fingers, <laughs> mouthpieces, wet reeds, um, and bits in the mouth and tonguing, I thought I can't take any more of this. So um, it's for sale, that thing. <laughs> afford a clarinet and times are tough, you can go to the alternative, often called the alto clarinet. Um, a far more difficult instrument to play. I'll see if I can... Uh, Frank, what's happened? I'm going 
because they have nowhere to go. <laughs> Because we haven't got a music license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Charlie, i got some jokes lined up if this doesn't work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be long. <laughs> Just talk amongst yourselves. Um, <laughs> Someone said music is the food of love, yeah, and if it does play on, but you cannot play a clarinet successfully um, and also make love, so you've got a choice. <laughs> I was going to play you a scale of D, but times are tough, I've only been able to afford one lesson. Um, but all's not lost, because if you do have to decide between one thing and the other, all you really need is this horn or bell end. Because as everyone knows, in order to have a a satisfying blow, all you really need is one bell in. <laughs> so I've been Michael Ayers, I'm going to thank off. Good night. <laughs>